throw some nasty legs, get lots of pins? Or is your goal ultimately to win a lot of matches and be the best possible wrestler that you could possibly be? Possibly be? No. Eventually win a state title. All right. If you want to throw really nasty legs and I'm a super nasty leg guy, okay. You know, that, that, that's a little different than the goal of most of the guys in our mind. Most guys, that is a part of what they do. Throwing legs is a part of what they do. It's not all of them. So, and along that, that train of thought, I just looked at some statistics from my team in the postseason. Now, I will tell you that my better wrestlers, uh, their scoring percentage with legs is a lot higher than it is in the postseason. When, they, when they're good at wrestling, they wrestle an average guy, they throw legs and they pin them. Even above average, Joey, uh, the big blue, got third at the big blue, he pinned it. Uh, a private school state champ, all right, a national qualifier with legs in it, all right? And I'm going to show you how he did it today. But in the postseason, I will tell you, and you need to think of, think about legs this way, we score on about a 10 to 20 to 1 ratio. What I mean by that, don't float away. I know it's the end of the school year, okay, but make sure you look at me. That way I know you're paying attention, all right? What I'm telling and I'm telling you this for a reason. Do not get frustrated when the first move you try doesn't work. That's not really the point of legs. The point of legs is control. All right? We attempt approximately 10 to 20 moves. Let's call it 10. For every one time we actually score them. You guys understand that? Okay? When you throw legs in, don't think that you're going to get away with doing one move, staying on that one move, with no transitions at all, and be able to win that match. You've got to transition from move to move to move. If you were on my team, you'd hear me screaming, keep your hands busy. Transition, transition. Or I'd be telling you what the next move is to do. Unless you're doing that, then I'd shut up and smile and watch the kids up. I'm not. That's what to do. Okay? So we're going to teach you a lot of transitions. I'm going to teach you the moves that my guys and other guys that I've coached through this camp have the highest success with. Okay, I'm going to resort this this year. I'm kind of doing things in a different order than I've done them, and, and that's in order to for it to make a whole lot of sense. Okay. So we've got uh, an hour, and then a little break, and then another hour. So at the beginning of the second hour, uh, we're going to go over guillotine and the all the guillotine series. Everything we can do out of that that far that cross leg far arm series. A lot of stuff that we can do from that situation. So we're going to go over that after our break. Today, we're going to leave right off with power. Normally, I save the power out for the second half, but I think I'm going to start off with power out. Power, the reason for that is because not only is it the most popular move, but for us, it's the most successful move. 